Thank you, Madam Contest Chair. Fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests. Have you ever heard the saying, you can dress her up, but you can't take her out? <laughs> That's pretty much me. <laughs> Although, I would change it to be something more like, you can let her sit in first class, but you can't stop her from bringing an entire pepperoni pizza on board. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. <laughs> it smelled so good at the airport. I didn't know I'd never flown first class before. See, there's been a lot of times in my life when I really should have just stayed at home in my pajamas, but instead I decided to do something fancy and ended up making a fool of myself. So today I want to tell you a story about not being too fancy. I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I've made. See, if you look at what I've done and then just do the exact opposite, you'll probably be fine. I can't promise you'll be the life of the party, but at least you won't be the only one eating cold pizza while everyone else is sipping champagne. <laughs> <laughs> so the story starts when my husband and I were invited to a friend's parents' house for a party in Bronxville, New York. We were new to the New York City area, and we didn't know much about its suburbs, which is why we really should have done our homework. We didn't. We just grabbed a bottle of wine, some chips, and headed out. Here are some statistics about Bronxville, New York. It is a small village in Westchester County. It is actually the most expensive suburb in the entire country. It has been referred to as the richest place in America. These would have been helpful to know before we left the house. <laughs> See, then we might not have been so surprised when we pulled up in our rusty, beat-up, squeaky old pickup truck <laughs> to a multi-million dollar Tudor-style mansion. My first thought was to take the embarrassingly inexpensive <laughs> bottle of wine that we brought and just shove it under the back seat. The Tostitos were obviously going back there, too. I figure it was less insulting to show up empty-handed than bring something so cheap. So we approached this giant, gorgeous estate, knocked on the massive mahogany door, and a woman appeared in her curlers. <laughs> in her bathrobe. Oh, dear. It turns out we had misestimated how long it would take to get there. We were way too early. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? She asked. At this point, I was really hoping that we were at the wrong house. <laughs> well, we're friends with Hannah, we said. Oh, okay. Uh, Hannah's taking a nap right now, but come on in. <laughs> As we crossed the threshold into the grand foyer, and there was no turning back. Hannah's mom was clearly busy running around, getting things ready for the party, and Hannah was apparently sleeping. So I offered, is there something I could do to help? She glanced over at these other people scurrying around, and that's when I realized she had lots of help already. Mm. She had hired help. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, she said. Just make yourselves at home. And she disappeared. Oh, sure, my husband and I thought to ourselves as we looked up at the vaulted ceiling with its exposed antique beams. This is just like our home. <laughs> I looked around again at, at the help. They were all wearing white shirt and blue pants. Uh-oh. <laughs> Would it have killed me to dress? strappy sandals. <laughs> well, eventually the other guests started to arrive, and it was like a who's who of Bronxville, New York. Mm. But we didn't know who was who in Bronxville. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, a, a friendly older gentleman asked me, are you from this area? I said, no, we're just here visiting friends. How about you? Uh, yes, he said, of course. I'm the mayor of New York City. <laughs> 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 I was way out of my element. <laughs> Everything about that night was mortifying. I just can't do fancy. But you can learn from my mistakes. Maybe bring a nice bottle of wine 
maybe <laughs> don't show up early. And definitely, for the love of God, do not dress like the help. <laughs> <laughs> See, for me, I'll probably always be the one who's wearing the wrong thing and doing the wrong thing, but hey, you know what they say. You can let her sit in first class, but you can't stop her from bringing an entire pepperoni pizza on board. <laughs> <laughs>